Yeti turned boring water coolers into a $5 billion brand. Here's how they did it. There's these brothers, the Cedars brothers, and they love to fish. In 2006, fishing off the Gulf Coast of Mexico, they have a problem. They're standing on their fish coolers to cast their line, and the lid of their cooler breaks under their feet. So they decide to get to work making a cooler whose lid won't collapse, handles don't break, and latches don't snap off. But they realize they're in trouble because they'll be competing with major companies like Igloo, Coleman, and Rubbermaid. And if Yeti's gonna make a high-end cooler, they're gonna sell it for $400. So how could they compete with those companies selling $40 coolers in Walmart? They didn't. They got smart and built a brand instead. A brand that sells status as a service. See, the Cedars brothers turned a boring thing into an object of desire. An object that signals you're a fisherman, an outdoorsman, a hunter. Even better, they can also sell their $400 coolers to people that wish they were hunters and fishermen.